Hey, how's it going? If you're watching this video, chances are that you're asking the question, how do you recover your disabled or suspended Facebook ad account? Now, Facebook is suspending a lot of accounts for multiple reasons. I have a solution for that because I put together a detailed guide on how to actually recover or restore your disabled or suspended Facebook ad account. Now, you will need to head over my website because that guide is on my website. But if you look at it, this account is my account that was disabled and this account is actually after I recover it. You see now I'm able to actually go back and use everything on my account again. This guide that I put together, it shows you everything. It shows you three methods, appealing using the request review button, contacting Facebook using the live chat feature, and also reaching out Facebook through the billing department. I also show you ways to prevent your account from being disabled in the future if it's still not disabled. And I also answer some of the most pressing questions regarding disable Facebook ad account. So you will need to head of my website called the MMS experience.com and here under resource, you come here on how to recover disable Facebook ad account. You will land on this page. And I'll also put the link of that on the, of this site down below. You will land on this page. First thing that you will need to do is that you come here, you click on method one, just as you see here, the method one will require you to just request the review button. So if you open your business manager and you realize that suddenly Facebook has restricted your account, just like you see on my screen, this is what happened with my account. It was restricted. I couldn't access anything. What I did is that I actually clicked on request review button and I input my phone number. I, I verified the code. I uploaded my ID and I sent the review. Everything worked out well because Facebook realized that they made a mistake and they restored my account. Now, it might not happen for some people. So if you don't see this uh, request review on your dashboard and Facebook just emailed you letting you know, what I want you to do is that I want you to come down here. First of all, this is a video that you can watch. You can watch the video showing you everything for this first step. And then what I want you to do is that I want you to come down here and click on appeal form it will take you to this page where you can easily request a review of your restricted ad account in case you don't see that in your business manager again it says if your ad account was disabled because it didn't comply with the advertising policy you can request a review if you believe it shouldn't be disabled so you select yes or no no meaning that you are someone running ads or managing the account on behalf of someone else. If it's you, then you click on yes. Now, no, you will need to find the ad account ID. How do you find the ad account ID? This is very important. You go here, this is your ad account ID. On your business manager right here, you come here on settings, you will see here your ad account ID, or you just come up here on the URL. After the act, you have your ad account ID right there you copy that ad account id you paste that right here if you have a case number you paste that but if you don't have no then you select i'm not sure which policy i violated you select your reason whatever if you have another reason you put that here and you click on send you receive an, an email from a facebook representative now the other method that I want to show you. I lay out all the steps in this guide. The other method is actually a live chat, which is the second method in this is to contact a Facebook representative via the live chat where you can actually chat live with a representative. Again, the button is here. See, and I also show you all the steps in the guide, but literally you just click on this button. First, you have to make sure that you're logged into your Facebook account because you see now it's telling me, hi, my name, how can we help you? Okay, you have to make sure you're logged in. Then you scroll down on find answer or contact support, you click on get started. I will select policy and account security. Now, after you do that, what do you see? You see now chat with a representative. The estimated wait time is seven minutes. Now depending on the account or how long you've been advertising on facebook if you're a brand new advertiser you might not see this future if you have been advertising for quite a while you will probably see this future you click on it 
you will see it already put my name here because I am locked into my Facebook account and it tells me my preferred number you put your phone number you select your email address here and then what's the relationship to the business I own the business or I am an employee if you work for a business if you manage the Facebook ad account of a, of a company then you select this option if you handle that for a friend or on behalf of someone a family member and then what's the question about again you select the question it is about your ad account so I will select ad policy or disapprove ad or ad account level issues now ad account level issues my ad account was disabled right here and then the subject title my ad account was disabled my ad account was disabled and then here you need to properly explain now the description is optional but then you need to properly explain what exactly why exactly you think your ad account should not be disabled i have put together a script that will show you exactly what you need to say or you can alternate it as much as you want but you need to be respectful those are human beings that have control over whether they can approve your account or not so if you're disrespectful then they will not um, approve you it's also in the guide everything is in the guide right here if you scroll down at the bottom if you click on view the full script it will take you to that page where you can actually copy everything or you you need to change your account uh, you, you need to select whatever problem that is you're reaching about and then edit that as much as you can and then send that to them or you can literally just explain the issue here and then you click on start a chat now you'll be able to chat with a Facebook agent live the other method that i am showing is to reach out through the billing department meaning that usually you can contact facebook when you have when there are payment issues on a facebook business account and i've also put the link of that form right here so if you click here you will access that form here where ads payment inquiry now I understand if you if you're disabled for whatever reason that you don't even know then you can still come here you select your ad account you click here you select your ad account you say I have a question about the payment although it's not payment related still explain that you don't understand why exactly your account was disabled and and also very important most of the time when people account gets disabled sometimes Facebook let the ad running okay and then when when actually they get reactivated they realize that the ads have been running but then facebook charge them facebook does not stop the ad so you can also reach out to them regarding this uh using this form regarding the payment issues and then say that you don't authorize a payment or you can you, you select whatever reason and then you will have this form right there that you explain why exactly facebook should stop charging your account because your account is disabled or you explain why exactly you don't think your account should be disabled and you click on send now that's the third way I'm actually going to show you a fourth way okay if you go back to your business manager and then you click here on help center if you click on help center this help thing will appear on the right you see now here you have contact support team you can click here on contact support team if this form right there will appear again facebook has changed the layout of everything the form this form will appear you put your name the phone number you select your ad account again you put your email and you explain everything and you click on submit facebook will reach out to you now i also show you exactly ways to prevent your account from being disabled if it has not been disabled yet because facebook has a set of advertising policy which i show you here if you click here you will see all the advertising policy that facebook actually lays out and it also has um, terms of services that you need to follow now when you go to the advertising policy right there i want you to focus on two sections prohibited content and restricted content there is a huge list of things that you should not do 
get the type of ad that that you should not launch but then i'm not going to read it all for you you need to do the, the the work yourself and read it all and i lay out steps first to prevent your account from being blocked you need to verify your business your personal account you can go here on facebook.com slash id verify you need to verify your business manager you need to make sure that all the people in your team also verify their personal account i show you all the steps the link of this site will be down below the mmsexperience.com on the resources you come here how to recover disabled ad account I show you everything now these are the things that facebook says to look at it looks at the ad and the landing page when it reviews an account or an ad so you need to make sure that before appealing you have to optimize again your landing page your landing page to make sure that it actually complies with the facebook policies because if you don't have a privacy policy well specified then you will have a problem i show you exactly how you can fix your existing ad to avoid misleading exaggerated claim in your ads and then you will not get suspended again also you will need to improve your feedback score okay your, your your risk score your feedback page score because when you run an ad or you make a post people have the option to report your content they can report it for violence spam hate speech or sexual explicit content when they do that facebook will accumulate the score and actually at some point they will actually just disable your page a lot of people don't actually check that score again I, sh I also put a link down below where you can actually click and access a page on your account quality where you can check the score of your Facebook ad account now right now it says that I don't have enough customer feedback because I haven't launched enough ad on this page but if you have you will see your score here and then it shows you exactly how you can improve the feedback from your customer very very important read this guide until the end and i am sure it will help you i also answer some of the most pressing questions regarding disabled facebook ad account understand that you're not alone because i put a list of people that also have the same problem on the facebook if you go on facebook groups you will realize that thousands of people are having their account disabled and they don't know what to do if you if you read here my account was this disabled uh, what should I do now there are so many people that are having their account disabled and they don't know what to do they have been running ads for years now but suddenly their account has been disabled but this guide is meant to help you now one when you reach out to facebook send a, you send a message or you you request a review they will send you a notification in the facebook support inbox so you go on facebook.com support and you open the inbox you will see a notification there telling you whether your account was reinstated or that it is their final decision if they tell you it's their final decision you can also reply and say I disagree because I have been complying blah 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 all the links are on my site themsexperience.com and I am sure if you follow this guide not only you will protect your account from this from being disabled but also you will be able to recover your disabled account so what if Facebook still comes back and say that the disable is their final decision that they're not going to reinstate your account well at this point you literally have two other solutions okay one of them i actually show you in this guide which is actually you need to create a brand new facebook account or you need to use one of your friend account okay you have friends you have family members that have facebook then you you log in into the account you need to find a new computer log in into the account change your ip address using like a private vpn you can google how to get a like free chrome vpn extension you will install one change your ip address to another country use a brand new credit card because if facebook already flagged your credit your previous credit card 
as um, disabled, then using that same credit card will still get your account disabled. So you can use one of your friend's account, you create a business manager in the account, and then you add yourself, you add your personal self as one admin in their business account, and you will have access to that business manager and that ad account. Okay, so all the steps are shown here. But you have to make sure that it is it's one of your trusted friends that you can trust that person, that that person is not gonna mess around with your, with your card information, your business information, and even your business overall. Sometimes actually Facebook can actually still detect that it is you if you're locked in the same household and then your IP address has not changed, then Facebook will still ban that account because the algorithm is very sophisticated. Now, there is also a company that actually offers Facebook account in case you're really, really banned from Facebook, like this is your, like your last resort. If you ban, then this company called Social Empire, the link of this company will be down below. If you click on the link down below, you will be able to access this page. It's Social Empire. Then they offer different uh, pricing for Facebook account. So they already have pre-warmed Facebook managers or business account that you can buy from them. They have multiple plans. For example, they have the basic plan, the pro plan, and the ultimate plan. So you, this is like a basic Facebook ad account for beginners, okay? This is for professional and this is for seasoned marketer or big brand. And so the way it happens is that they will give you a, a fake Facebook profile from someone in another country and then that account will already have a business manager approved and then that account will already have cookies and then they will provide you instruction after you buy and they will provide you support as well on how everything works. Now, you have the premium and you have the ultimate. So basically the way it works is that you will need to connect to what we call the VPS hosting. So it's offered by a company that will connect you to virtual computers. Literally, you'll be connected to a computer that Facebook will not detect that you've used before and that it will not ban you. And because you already have business manager ready to be used, you can actually start running ads. And so if you, if you go with this option, what I will suggest is that you will need, again, it will be 100% satisfaction guarantee, but then it will be in the instruction, okay? In the instruction, what you will have to do is that you will have, for example, in the beginning to run page likes, post engagement, just to warm up your account again with Facebook, and then you start running conversion ads. So this is what I understood with these um, services. Now, you only pay once and you will use it forever. In case something happened with, with your account, they will provide you another Facebook profile. Again, they say, we choose a Facebook profile and business manager for you. They send you the login details. You log in uh, using that information and then you start running ads right away. Those are verified Facebook business manager. So that's the last solution that I have for you. That's what I wanted to show you. All the links are down below. If you think that was helpful, please smash the like button. Liking will really help this video go far and help other people. So please just like the video. And until next time, I want you to really take good care of yourself. I love you guys. Peace. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.